Hey guys, what's up? First ID Productions here, and uh, in this video, I am doing a update. And um, before I start, uh, I'm just I'm doing one shout out because this person's been asking me to give them a shout out. Um, but I'll do like a bunch of shout outs of people in like another video. But uh, um, this one is uh, this kid that just recently got onto YouTube. His name is Max Hoxie. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, yeah, go check him out. So, and then uh, also, sorry, I haven't been posting that much um, with because uh, I've been having to do something, a lot of things for school because I'm in high school, so um, just high school stuff like that, so... Um, I got this update for you. Um, this was before Rockford, after Rockford, and then, um, this past weekend. So, um, just stuff all from then. So I'll start off over here. Um, I didn't get a whole, any, like, new medic set or anything. Um, I just wanted to show, I went to Rockford with, uh, World War II underscore youth. Um, and, uh... I got the litter straps, which are these. They go right there and there. And I actually looked them up. What they were used for is to support the weight of the stretcher. So they, the weight of the stretcher would be on your shoulders instead of all just in your arms. So I got those. I got them from at the front, so they match my medic set. Everything besides the the medic bags, litter straps, yokes, and the The straps that go across to keep the bags from going from side to side. Um, but the belt, the canteens, the Carlo bandage pouches, the wire cutters, everything else is original besides the medical stuff on this belt. Besides the Carlo bandage pouches, those are original. Um, then I also got another uh, 40, 1942 dated. And uh, um, I got another one of these Carlo bandage pouches. So they're both the same style one. Um, this one came with a sealed Carlo bandage. Now I have one that's open and one that's sealed for display, so that's pretty cool. Um, this one's 42. But yeah, I got that there. So now I don't have to use that Korean War one that I had. So, yeah. Um, over here, I found these at an antique store. Um, now, I'm most likely 100% sure that these are not real German ones. I mean, uh, that'd be hard to find real ones and know if they were real so but they i looked up pictures of the german ones and that's and i found these ones so um yeah i just got these so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get corks i got corks but the only ones the corks fit in is that one so uh um i'm gonna get corks for all of them and the labels so that'll be pretty cool and for these two so yeah that will be on this channel in the future up here, uh, I got my plasma bottle done. I had this done uh, for a while, just I haven't showed it. Um, I've seen both ways where the labels were either this way or the other way. Um, then I went and I got the, the um, tube. I know this tube is too big, but it's also a fake homemade plasma bottle. You can buy reproduction ones, but they are real na needles, and th that's just you know kind of like unsafe for reenacting purposes. Um, but that's just a rounded off nail in there. It's not sharp or anything. I just put that on there because I saw an original photo like that where a medic put corks on his so they wouldn't leak out. And then instead of just sticking the tubes into the cap, I actually have like the where it would have been like a needle that would have gone in the cap. I'm still going to find something that's like either like the red or like the orange thing that goes around that. But um, I still got to do that. Then I got these. Now, I'm not 100% sure if these are the right size or not, but they are they look like the World War II ones. But they're not original or anything, but um, I think they're just a slightly bit smaller. But, yeah. Over here, I got these uh, from Nick or World War II Airborne Infantry. Yeah, World War II Airborne Infantry. Um, yeah, he made these and gave it to me. Over here... I have, my helmet is completed now. It has the chin straps corked and painted, weathered. Um, this chin strap, uh, I put 
uh, brown shoe polish on because I believe this was an at the front chin strap and then an original liner. So, and it's an original front seam, so I have a complete World War II helmet now. That's awesome. Now I don't have to use a post-war helmet anymore. And I will be using that for my medic stuff because uh, the other medic in my unit, I was talking to him, and uh, we both found that um, the medics in the unit and company that I'm doing, they didn't have the medical symbols on their helmet, so um, I'll be using that helmet. Uh, up here, I got this. It's the uh, EMT booklet. Emergency, med emergency medical tag booklet. But it's got the first tag, then the carbon sheet, and then the, the medic. The this is what the medic would have. That would be their copy, and then the uh, the string. So that's pretty cool. Up here, I got these are not. I I got the grenade, but then I painted them and put the yellow stripe on myself now these are not correct grenades at all i believe this isn't even correct so um i know that they're not correct but they were really cheap for the both of them and i just figured it'd be cool for like display or or for like in like a film or something so i know they're not correct so yeah both of them are not correct up there i just got wood blocks from my bandoliers so yeah and i painted them black I got a net, like the small hole net from uh, Man the Line. Um, SS reversible camo hat I got from World War II underscore youth. I did a trade for him for the Korean War bandage pouch. Um, up here, I found at my uh, at an antique store, it's my unit's crest. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen I've posted a picture of this already. And I posted a picture of this like a little bit ago. Um know what that was uh and uh i finally found it so yeah i talked to the leader of my unit he said if i find two more then i'll have the complete set so that's pretty cool and then i'll have to get the medical ones too for my medic stuff uh right here i got from a family friend these were all brought back from a marine during world war ii they captured these these are all japanese um rounds and shells they all have, uh, where is it, Japanese markings on them. Yeah, right there. And, yeah, and they were all cut down. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Up here is a brownie camera. Now, I know this doesn't really have anything to do with the military, but it's, uh, the 1917 style one, and, uh, yeah, I, just, I got that for, like, you know, like a personal item, but really wouldn't have been during World War II. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, so just got that. Um, here, I got both of these for, like, a dollar. Um, now, I know this one's 1985, but it's an M79 manual. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It, uh, I learned, like, uh, about, like, the... Uh, the site it talks about like how to use the site like correctly and everything so that's pretty cool and then i got this it's from 1968 so uh yeah i don't believe i forgot anything if i do you'll see it in another video later on these i got this past weekend all for one price and uh yeah i was pretty uh happy to get these um now they all go in order they go like that all the way down to here, and then that one, that one, that one, and then those ones are just a mixture of them that I found in there that I can't find which ones they go to. Up here, this one is a night a, a remake in 1933 of a night of an 1816 magazine, not a magazine, a newspaper. Over here, this one is 1937 dated. January 6th, of, no, June 6th of 1937. Uh, this one is September 3rd of 1939. This one is March 10th of 1940. 
This one is May 10th of 1940. There it is. That one, uh, I believe, is 1940. It's like a music thing. This one is May 30th, 1941. This one was pretty cool. This one was the first one I saw. It was on top of all these. December 8th of 1941. So the day after the bombing on Pearl Harbor. Yeah. And then another one that is December 8th of 1941 which is also the day after the bombing on Pearl Harbor. So, uh, yeah, those two are pretty, uh, pretty cool. And I was reading them, too. It's, uh, uh, pretty cool things to read. Um, here, September 21st, 1941. Up here, this one is April 13th in 1945, Roosevelt's death, or is dead. Here is VE Day, May 8th in 1945, Great War Ends, August 15th, 1945, and these ones are just regular ones, I, you know, can't find where they go, but, um, I will try to find where they go. So, uh, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.